Hello and welcome my beautiful Capricorns. Brenda here with your general tarot and oracle card forecast for the week of January the 9th to the 15th. The year is beautiful 23. We know that that number this year comes down, broken down to the number seven and number seven is a beautiful number of moving forward in a better and new prosperous and successful direction. Okay, let's see what we've got here. Starting off, my beautiful Capricorns, first of three energy cards you've got is the Scythe. And we know that the Scythe is basically, uh, you know, a simple agricultural tool used to clear away anything like grass and gather wheat at harvest time. But in the Lenormand, it can also mean a sudden trauma or a shock that will take you by surprise. A swift, clear cut will be made. It's a call to action, but also it's a card that says if you're in the kitchen or you're dealing with any sharp tools at work, just be, you, you know, be, be cautious because this is a card that, this is a card that says you can get cut very quickly. So be careful with any sharp tools as well. But I think you're going to see a clear call to action. I always look at this as a good card because I like to look at it as a harvest coming in getting ready, doing the work, preparing yourself uh, to see a clear cut view and sight line towards your goals and see abundance coming in. Now, your second energy card you have is the birds. And both of these decks are different Lennerman decks. So the birds we know can be, uh, you know, the birds have come home to roost here. Uh, there could be your family or kids could be returning home. Family could have been away. Maybe someone's moving back to the fold, back to the nest back to the home um, but also means birds we know are messengers they, they're very very um, vocal they bring messages and they chatter away and this could be um, you know information coming in it can be discussions it can be conversations it can be you know that can be verbal or they can be virtual and electronically transmitted ideas as well when you receive information pay attention to both the medium and the message, to who's delivering it and how they're bringing it into you. Not everything you see is or read online is completely true. So before acting on any news, consider the source and the content before you make any, you know, any major decisions or choices. Again, birds can be gossipers. That's what the birds mean. So be careful. You could be, uh, you know, getting involved or hearing something third hand misinformation. It needs to be accurate before you to take anything serious. But this can indicate the sharing of valuable advice too and wise counsel that can be coming in for you. So beautiful messages that can be delivered. And both of them mean different things, but they're there to give you guidance. So keep your eyes open to the signs and symbols that are going to be coming into you. But, you know, it's definitely about transmission and communication and signs and advice and gossip and all those things with this card. Now, coming in with from the Moonology deck, you've got a new start is coming with a new moon. Well, we know we just finished having a new moon. And this is a time where you have done your work. You've cleared things out. You've prepared yourself to go forward in a brand new direction. So I like the full moon. The full moon says you've dealt with the past and now you want a fresh start. And this is beautiful how we go through phases and cycles now. So I do think that a new start is coming in for some of you. Now on the bottom of the deck, you've been given the seven of, or rather the eight of pentacles and you're working hard. A lot of you may be working hard towards your goals, your career, uh, honing up your gift and your craft when it comes to your job. Some of you need to stay focused on that because all the hard work that you may be applying to your job and your career is definitely setting you up for success and, and uh, you know, your hard work and effort is going to pay off big dividends. Some of you may be thinking about taking a new form of study, adding something to your resume, going back to school, uh, whether you initially go back physically to a school, university, college, or you're doing it virtually online. This is something that will help move you forward, propel you up that next rung of that income tax bracket to put you in a better job description to earn more money. So keep moving in that direction. Stay focused on your goals here because this is how you're going to get ahead here. This is how you're going to receive this abundance. Now in your first row could be the energy coming in behind you or the beginning of your week here. You have the Ace of Swords, the Fool and the Three of Wands. So you're going to definitely see something coming in here. You're going to hear some information that is going to bring you complete clarity. If you've been confused or uh, not certain about a certain a situation around you or a phase that you're going through, 
please know that when the Ace of Swords shows up, you're going to hear about it. It's a beginning stage of hearing about something. And we had talked about the birds here, hearing messages coming in. So pay attention to that. But when the Ace of Swords comes in, it's almost like victory. Okay, so coming in with this Ace of Swords, do expect to get, you know, to hear about something good coming in. Now, some of you, if it has to do with a legal situation, often this is a, this is a victory card here coming in. The Fool says, because of this information, perhaps, that you're receiving or the, the resources coming in towards you in a positive way, you're going to be able to take a leap of faith and go towards your goals, whatever they are. You, you're preparing yourself for that. So this could be your goal here in your job, in your profession. Maybe you're opening up your own business, whether it's passive income or full time. I do think that you have maybe done the legal work. Maybe you've had to sign documents and papers and bring in uh, legal representation to allow you to take this leap of faith so that you're doing everything right. Uh, they just threw a word out to me, copyright. Be careful about copyrights. Thank you, Spirit. Okay, the, the Three of Wands comes in next, and that's all about you looking at your horizon, looking across at what you've done and accomplished, and you're waiting for more to come in. You've done the job, you've done the work, and now you're waiting to get the credit and the rewards for it. Keep moving forward. You're going to get it. But you need to pat yourself on the back and commend yourself for everything that you're doing now. Know that Capricorn, I call you the, che the little achievers for a reason. When you people put your head down to the grindstone and stay focused, you can become very, very famous and, uh, you know, things will come in in a very successful way. Now, in the center position, possibly the energy you're feeling right now or the middle of the week, you have the page of cups, you have the page of rods, and you have the four of cups. So, you know, you have two beginnings here. The Page of Rods is taking action and the Page of Cups is bringing something in as a gift here for you on a more personal and compassionate level. The Four of Cups says you may be sitting in a position where you're thinking that things aren't moving fast enough. Uh, I always say you can't see the trees for the forest. You're, there's something right in front of your sight line that you may be over, you may be looking over. You may be thinking, oh, it's not going to work out. This isn't really where I should go. Or you're not seeing something in complete clarity. But I do believe once you, you, you do, there's going to be a choice here. You're still being given gifts here. You know, the divine hand is reaching out to say, hey, stop thinking this way. Keep your eyes open for doing things that are different. Be uh, open-minded to accept things um, at face value, but accept things that could be coming in that might not be what you may have chosen to begin with or considered. And often we get a great surprise when we finally say, well, you know, I'll consider it, I'll look at it, I'll think about it in a different perspective, from a higher perspective, and bang, we end up with what we want. Taking action, page of rods is going after that goal. Don't be afraid to step out, put your step, you know, stick your neck out and go after something new and interesting and exciting. Page of Rods is always the beginning of new creations, new endeavors, new, uh, new uh, information coming in that's exciting, that gets you motivated, gets those, those exciting juices flowing. Page of Cups says they are more uh, on a more personal level. They come in and they have a gift to give you, and it could be the gift of time, effort, support, and maybe even love. You could be taking a relationship to the next level. This person could look younger, act younger, or perhaps even be younger than you. And they're coming in and they want to offer you something in the form of attention. And it could be love that they want. Don't allow yourself to get up in your head and sabotage this move. Don't worry about other people's opinions. If this person is younger and you're older, let it go. Uh, we live in, a, in a, a, a life now where we can pretty much have who we want and be happy with that. This could even be only a temporary relationship, but take it as a gift. Beautiful. Okay, coming in in the final row could be the energy coming in towards you, future energy or the end of the week. We have that Ten of Wands, we have the Tower and we have the Hangman. So again, you know, uh, the Four of Cups here was indicative of sitting there thinking that, you know, you're missing out on an opportunity, but you weren't going after it. Then you do decide when you get that clarity to do that. This, you know, this hangman po situation is again hanging in limbo, feeling as though you're, you've got one foot in one uh, situation and the other still holding on. Let go. You have this ability. If you're doing the prep work while you're here, thinking about 
you something that you really, really want. What are you giving up? What are you sacrificing to go after this goal? And you're going to find that by doing the work in the background, doing your research, thinking long and hard about this move, you're going to be able to go forward and go after it. This is, you know, and like this is, you know, an awakening for some of you. Okay. This is looking at things from a different approach and what's going to work the best for you. Okay. You need to step outside of the norm in the mainstream right now and embrace your unique uh, and, and, and your, your unique self and believe in it. Okay. It's a good moment to be generous with your time and attention and gifts too. But I do think that you're going to see some stillness in the process. This is something that unexpectedly comes in and your life is changing now. All you need is a little bit of patience here, my beautiful, beautiful Capricorns, because you have the power to do what it is you want, okay? There could be some unusual circumstances that come in. Now, the Ten of, ten of Wands shows up, and, it's, it, and this is indicative of you feeling as though you had taken on the burdens of the world, took on too much. Maybe you had a heavy workload here, and you felt it was overwhelming. But guess what? Tens are completion. This is over. You don't have to worry about that. It was a hard climb for you. But now you've come to the realization, whew, I've completed it. And now I'm going to look back and say, how could I make this better, right? How could I have made this better? Something suddenly here with the tower changes. And you're going to make changes here for the better. Never, ever, ever be afraid of the tower. The tower is could be planned changes or unexpected changes that happen and something may have had to end maybe it was the completion of a project or at the completion of a contract or um, anything like that it was meant to be temporary for others maybe something you know that you went into wasn't on firm foundation and now you've decided I'm out of there I finished what I had to do it was a hard struggle but now I'm going to make it easier for myself I've thought about it for a long time and now I'm able to go forward and create my new beginning because you've got a new beginning coming in your new start here and go forward towards the next step of my goals here. So definitely there's some major changes coming into you. We talked about a new start here with the Moonology card and cutting things out, going very quickly, clear cut and concise. Now you're able to see the truth, to take this leap of faith, to know that it can be lucrative. And these opportunities that are coming into you, I think you're changing your perspective on, on a lot of things, on relationships and also how you look at a situation perhaps to do with your job and your career. Wow. Well, my beautiful, beautiful Capricorns, my achievers, this is your reading for this week. And again, I wish you a great remainder to today and a beautiful, optimistic week here to look forward to. Always know I send you lots of love and many blessings and I'll see you soon.